why are the CFW11 VFD for electronic potentiometer control? We need to program an input for start stop. In default, digital input one is start stop, so we can use that for our start stop signal, and we will use a maintain start stop button to start and stop the drive. For EPOT, we will use momentary switches for up, if, and the way this operates, you press and hold the up button in, and the drive will accelerate until released. And if we want to slow the speed of the drive down, we press and hold the down arrow button, or the down button, and then release once we receive, once we achieve the speed we're needing to run. So to wire this in, what we have is we have all the switches common. We have common switches, and we are going to use a 24 volts from our drive, and we will wire that in to terminal number 13. Again, that's our common that is going to all of our switches, one side of all of our switches. We can pick any of our other digital inputs for, for up button. So we will use digital input 2, which is associated with terminal number 14. One analogy for this uh, electronic pot would be like cruise control for the drive. And then we will wire our down arrow button to terminal number 15, which is digital input number 3. Okay, now we'll put the cover and the HMI back on the drive and program our digital inputs. Okay, once we have the cover and the HMI back and power on, we now need to program the digital inputs to be able to control the speed through the electronic potentiometer. So we enter the menu. We go to all parameters, and we scroll to parameter 263, which is for digital input 1. Again, we want digital input 1 to be our start signal. From the default configuration, 263 is already programmed for run stop. So that's good. So now we want digital input 2, which we had wired in for our speed up on our electronic pot. So we go to parameter 264 for our digital input 2 selection. We press select. We change this to a value of 11, which defines this digital input as increase EP. We save. Okay, this is telling us that parameter 221 or parameter 222 need to be set for E pot. But while we're here, let's go and change parameter digital input number three. We want that to be decrease EP. So we set parameter 265 which is associated with digital input 3, we set that to a value of 12 for decrease EP. We save that. Again, we're getting the error message. The error message is telling us that we're not telling the VFD in the remote mode, we're not telling the VFD where we want our speed to come from. In default, the VFD is looking for a speed potentiometer to control the speed. 
we need to change this since we are setting the speed through electronic potentiometer we do need to change the drive so our remote reference selection in parameter 222 we want that to be the electronic pot so we change parameter 222 to a value of 7 which defines the speed in uh, the remote configuration to be the electronic pot. So we return, we return back to the main screen. Now we should be able to close our maintain start signal which is connected to digital input 1 and the drive will start running. As we see, we run to our minimum speed, which is preset as 90 RPMs in our drive. If we close our increase EP, which is terminated on digital input number two, the VFD should start ramping up. Once we see what speed we need to run, we release the switch and the unit will run at the speed we have set. To slow down the speed of the drive, we would press the decrease EP. Again, this is a normally closed decrease, a normally open increase. So if we close, push the decrease, the unit will start slowing down. Again, speed up release, stay at that speed, slow down, release, and stay at the speed that where you released. Again, give a stop command and the drive will stop. 